that better fit the phenomenon. That's what I can say. There's it's still an interpretation, but it's an interpretation that doesn't leave as much out. That gets closer to being the appropriate interpretation. Yeah? And so I think that it's part of the consequences is that it's stable or is it? Hegir actually doesn't have a whole lot to say about sleep. Specifically, this is more my application. Um, there would definitely be some beliefs that are more or less universal and unstable. There would be some that are fairly easy to change, but you know, my belief that this book was printed in print. If I had a belief that this book was printed in print ink, I would open it up and be like, oh, I'm interacting with this and it is not in fact print ink. And that belief would change quickly. Um, so I'm sure there's room. It's, it's not, belief is not something we will focus on a lot. My, my goal is to use the categories of Dasein and the world and interpretation to understand this idea of sleep. Um, and who knows if it'll work out well, maybe it will too. But um, <coughs> that's um, what I'm trying to do. So, real quick, before I let you go, I want to analyze the sentence. <laughs> um, man is a rational animal. So, some guesses to what Heidegger would object to in this sentence. Yeah. Man is a rational animal. Of course. Well, <laughs> not what A, but yeah, there are some <laughs> some really fundamental objections here, some like basic misunderstandings in even saying the sentence. Yeah? I mean, to say that man is a rational animal is of course to say that man is a rational sort of thing in the sense that like there's man in the society that talks about how like man is sort of superior as far as like how God and I interact or how God and I interact with the rational animal or something like that. Okay, exactly. So that's the sort of rational. Necessarily say that's wrong. Man has the ability for rational thought, but is that what's fundamental? Not according to Heidegger. What's fundamental is this understanding um, that Dasein's being is an issue for it, that it can have a for the sake of which it can interact with things for that for the sake of which. Rational thought falls into that same category. We think rational thoughts because we have some goal in mind, we have something we want to understand, because that is part of what it is to be us. I am a philosopher, Dasein, and therefore part of what I do is attempt to make rational thoughts for the sake of understanding, uh, for, for the sake of my own being, for the sake of being a good philosopher, Dasein. Um, so rational, while not wrong, is definitely secondary. That's not a fundamental um, thing about that one. Well, if I understand your question correctly, then saying man is a rational animal is equivalent Exactly. Exactly. We're taking this is. Man is a rational animal. We've got the uh, subject with predicate, or object with a predicate relationship going on. Object with predicates is a present of hand sort of thing. Man is not a present of hand sort of thing. Man is fundamentally Dasein. So to talk about, so to talk about man as having, as being defined as a, um, sorry, I have a certain word to use. Um, the object of animal. Um, okay, sorry. To make my claim, I would say this is, a, this is implying that, uh, I would rephrase this as man is an animal that is rational, in order to make clear what I'm still saying. That animal is the object, and rational is, is the subject. Um, because that's what's implied, that's what's meant when this is said. You don't think so, Dolly? No, rational. Either is or is a rational. Mm -hmm. I, I think you're interpreting this to 
Understanding of man historically is a relatively present at hand one. It doesn't understand man as being essentially Dalai. Um, so you have a problem with the word man. We've already talked about how we have problems with the word rational. Um, you definitely have problems with the word animal, because that's even more present at hand. Um, basically, you have problems with this whole sentence. And that's why Heidegger is interesting. When presented with this definition, the way I like to it Okay, well, let's find an exception. Let's find a man who's not rational. Or let's find a rational animal who's not a man. Or let's talk about, you know, whatever. Heidegger's answer would be, why are we even discussing this sentence? It is exactly the wrong sort of sentence for talking about dogma. It is a sentence that assumes dogma is present at hand, which is about as opposite from the type of being dogma has to even be useful. Um, and so that's what Heidegger does. Heidegger lays out basically an entire ultimate system of understanding us and our, our place in the world and the world and all of these things um, that, you know, that we can use to, that we can apply these new categories, use this new interpretation to understand the world better than we did before, to understand philosophical questions better than we did before. Does that make sense? Okay, so. I am not. 